everyone, my name is Lauren Eloise and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about all of the childhood signs that I was gay. But before we begin, I want to let you know that this video is part of a special series I'm doing called the 12 Gays of Christmas. The series this year is almost over, but if you have not subscribed and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and you can join the fam. Also, my dog is just chilling with me in this video. So if you're new here and you haven't picked up on the cues yet, I am indeed a lesbian. There is a big gay flag behind me. I am wearing a rainbow shirt. I didn't always know that I was gay and although there were a lot of signs that I had growing up, they just completely went over my head. I just did not know at the time, but now years later, I look back at my childhood and there are so many things that are like so obvious <laughs> that I was gay. And we're gonna talk about all those right now. I'm gonna try and make this go in like chronological order. So like the earliest signs up until late high school slash when I started uni, cause that's when I figured out that I was gay. It might be a little bit jumpy, but I'm trying my best. So my Australian fam will probably remember High Five it was a TV show. I had this thing for Charlie. She was my favorite character. I was obsessed with her. More recently, my friends have told me like they would crush on the two guys in that TV show. And it's just, such an obvious thing. A theme you're gonna see throughout is just, I had like different stages of mass interest in women. It's just, I just, yeah. So that was like when I was like, you know, four or five years old, right? The next huge sign, which I should have realized way earlier was my obsession with Gwen Stefani. I was literally obsessed. I would listen to that album on repeat. If you guys remember the Total Girl magazines, I used to find pictures of her in there, no matter how small they were, some were like literally smaller than your pinky thumbnail. And I would cut them out and I would stick them on the back of my bedroom door. <laughs> and I just had this collage of pictures of her face. It was so weird. I was only seven or eight at that time. Now I think about it, some of my friends from primary school, when they would find pictures of Gwen, they would cut it out and give it to me so I could add to my collection. At the time, my two best friends also were like really interested in Gwen Stefani, but I just took it a little bit further than them. I actually remember coming up with this tattoo design and I would draw it on my thigh. I would draw it here and it just said like Gwen Stefani. It had like a love heart with an arrow through it or something. It was just so gay. The f what are you doing? Something I also remember really early on was like watching TV shows and movies with my family. Whenever a straight couple would kiss, I would literally be so embarrassed that I would hide my face. I just didn't want to see it. It was embarrassing and it was gross. I couldn't figure out why at the time. I just knew I didn't want to see it and I'm pretty sure my family teased me. They didn't obviously know either, but just makes sense. <laughs> In primary school, everyone had crushes on people all the time. It was just a thing kids do. But I remember I literally had a list of like six boys that would kind of like rotate through the list of who I liked. How does one person like six people at the same time? They don't. <laughs> Another primary school memory is going on a year three camp. So I was like nine years old and we had this camp leader whose name was Alicia, but I was like obsessed with her. I liked her so much. Like I just wanted her to like pay attention to me. She called me and my two other friends her three little gremlins. And for some reason I just loved that. I remember going back to school and writing it in the back of a dictionary that, oh, I miss Alicia. None of my other friends cared like after the camp. Camp's done, you forget about it kind of thing. But I was just like, I miss this girl. <laughs> Stupid. Another thing that popped into my mind was when I was in kindergarten, I loved my year six buddy. You used to have a buddy system where the little kids in kindergarten would buddy up with one year six, which was the oldest. So someone who was like five and someone who was 12, you'd have a buddy. And I loved my buddy and I was so sad when the next year came and she left school and I just, again, missed her for some reason. So gay. Uh, another thing from like, younger childhood when you used to play husband and wife or like you'd have dolls and I never had a husband. I just didn't even think about it. It was just me and my, my baby doll. That's it. I've heard a lot of people's stories saying that they, you know, always volunteered to be the dad so that they could have the girl, but it just, I never even thought about it. So we're getting a little bit older now. I'm about 13, 14 years old and I hit my Kristen Stewart obsession phase. <laughs> First saw Kristen Stewart in Twilight. For some reason, I was really drawn to her character, probably cause she turned out to be gay later on. All my friends were like team Edward, team Jacob. And I just couldn't really pick one because I 
didn't like boys like I just could not find them attractive in the end I said that I was team Edward just because that's the way the books are written I ended up watching like every interview with Kristen Stewart I ended up watching other movies with her in it especially the runaways oh my god so I used to have some really HD photos from the one runaways on my phone and I used to zoom in on Kristen Stewart and I'm just gonna leave it there I'm not gonna say anymore but I just remembered that and that is so embarrassing. She plays Joan Jett who, <laughs> after watching it as an adult, that movie is really gay. Like there is so many subtle gay hints in that movie alone. I actually remember dressing up as Joan Jett for a party at like 14 years old and I felt so cool and so myself. More is coming back to me. I also watched videos of Kristen Stewart saying what it was like to kiss Dakota Fanning. Just. Why did I do that? And I, I just, I wanted to be her so bad. Like this lasted quite a few years, even right now. Like I still want to be her, but um, <laughs> nah, man, I wanted to be with her, you know? Oh shit, I just remembered something. I had this twilight pillow. Forgive me, please. I had this twilight pillow and it had Kristen Stewart's face and Edward's, what's his name, Robert Patterson's face on it. I was like 14, maybe max 15. And I would like kiss the pillow Good night. <laughs> I don't know how many times I did it, but I remember I kissed both of them. It wasn't just like kissing Edward. That is so gay, man. In like the early teen years, there was no social media. You would get your celebrity fix through Dolly magazine or Girlfriend magazine. <laughs> and you used to get posters in these. I would pull out the posters and I literally had so many posters up of the Ronicas. I just had literally at least 10 posters of the Ronicas because I started becoming obsessed with them and then turns out one of them is gay so <laughs> I also remember having a Hunger Games poster which I put up as high as I could out of the way which had Gail and Peter on it and I remember feeling you know I was supposed to like one of them and find one of them more attractive than the other but I just didn't I did not care I had this calendar that came from the Dolly magazine that had all of these hot boys on it. Every month there was a different boy and I scribbled faces on these boys. I just did not like them. Around the time Facebook started to be a thing, when you signed up, you could put who you're interested in. Whether you're interested in men or women, I left a blank for like the entire time I had that Facebook account. So when I was about 14, The Sims came out on iPhone. I had no idea if you could make them gay. And in my head, it was just like, a, I just wanna see if it's possible to even make them gay and lo and behold they can woohoo yes they can <laughs> so I made my sims gay but I didn't think much about it at all when I played sims a couple years later on the computer I never really cared about making like a family with a husband the guy that I made for my family was I just made it Edward I also made one that was Gerard Way who you know if you know anything about my chem yeah <laughs> around this time I was like 15 and starting to get into online games and I had this online game that I used to play all the time and there's like a forum section in there and I remember writing in this forum, is it wrong to be in love with a girl or like a girl? Something like that. Is it wrong to gay? But I remember someone wrote back, no way honey, like you're all good, it's, it's not wrong, it's fine. It was also around the time that I was 15 where my friends started showing interest in boys. Tom Felton, this is a very specific example, but I remember being in a shopping mall with my best friend. She was like, I think Tom Felton is hot. I did not know how to respond. I just was like, so like, surprised because I couldn't relate to the feelings of finding someone attractive. I just didn't know what that felt like. So I felt really alienated, but I also felt kind of hurt because I think deep down I knew that I liked her and it was like a oh shit kind of thing. The next sign is something that I don't know if it is a gay sign or not because there was a lot going on and I can't really, I don't know if it is, but a lot of people, you know, around 14, 15 are like developing and I was a lot slower on that process. I was always like wishing like, oh my God, please like hurry up. I want more. <laughs> but I remember being so insecure, but also looking all the time at like comparing myself and looking at other girls and yeah, I don't know if that's because I was envious or because like 
Boobs. <laughs> I don't know. Every single gay has had a crush on their English teacher. Prove me wrong. I had the same English teacher in year 8 and year 11 and 12 and I had this love-hate relationship. I liked her but I didn't really want to admit that I did and I hated her because she pushed us so hard to do better work. She was a good teacher. I have this specific memory of being like 14 in this class. It was on a sport day and she was wearing like I think tights. She was leaning on the desk and standing up and like holding her waist. I had this thought at the time of oh like maybe she's on her period or something but I was like checking out her body. It was just so gay and ah <laughs> a little bit older now like 16 ish. I moved on from my Kristen Stewart obsession to Lana Del Rey. I remember one of my friends mentioned that she would kiss Lana Del Rey. I'm pretty sure this girl's straight now, but at that point in time, I was like, yeah, like I would too. Yeah, I would because I'm so gay. I listened to Born to Die on repeat. I watched all the music videos plus the red lipstick. Oh my God. Also around this age slash a little bit older. So maybe 16, 17, 18. I don't remember it at the time, but I actually have read some of my diaries that have things in it of me questioning. It's like, maybe I'm pan. Maybe I just like women more than I like guys, which let me know if you want me to read those because I would love to do a video reading my old diaries. After high school ended, I furthered my education by going to uni and my friend, he asked me one day, he's like, Lauren, like, who's your crush? And I just could not give him an answer. And I think I ended up saying Lana Del Rey just because like, I liked her, but like, I didn't. That just should have clicked then that I was gay, but it didn't. And he was like, bro, like you're fucking gay. He didn't say it, but I think, yeah, I think he knew it. Around that time I was following a lot of gay people on Instagram slash people who were non-binary or trans as well. So I was getting introduced to the community. I didn't realize that I was so drawn to this community it was because I was gay. So during the time that I was in uni, I went to a club for the first few times with one of my good friends. She would go like distance herself away a little bit so that I could talk to guys. I would always freak the f out. I was like, no, I don't want you to go because I don't, I know I'm supposed to want to talk to these guys. And they would tell me that I was cute and try and invite me to go and sit down and whatever, but I just didn't want to. And I remember actually, we were at like a, a show where a band was like covering My Chemical Romance and Fallout Boy. The lead singer who was 25 at the time, mind you, and I was like 18 or 19. After the show, he was like, I was looking at you all night. He was talking to me and we sat down on the couch and that friend kind of went away so we could talk. And he's like, I want to kiss you and I was like no I don't want to and it was just really awkward that's another story for another time but I don't know if it was the same time or a different time but at that club there were two girls making out somewhere in the distance and I would just kept looking but I didn't want to look but I was like so intrigued by this idea that two girls were making out that was just so foreign and crazy to me around this time I also remember being out with two of my friends and they were like Lauren you haven't kissed anyone and I was like yeah and they're like we can do it now like you can kiss me right now and then you know, you've done it. I got so embarrassed. I was like, nah, it's fine. Like, no, I don't want to do it. And it's not because I liked them, but it was because it would have been gay. So that is my entire life spilled out to you guys. Some of these things are really embarrassing, but hopefully you can relate to some of them. Let me know your childhood signs, if we share any or some interesting ones that you have. But if you enjoyed this video, you will probably really enjoy this one. Go and watch this one next and make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss when another video comes up. Till the next video, stay safe. Bye!